All right, here's the most trickiest one of all, registering your wrestler for a tournament. This video is going to be kind of long because there's several steps involved, and it, it's my first time doing it, and um, it was a little tricky, so I'm going to show you all the odds and ends that I found. So you want to register for a tournament. You have to have completed all the other steps, watch the videos before this, to actually make this happen. So this assumes your wrestler is in the system, and you have already purchased a USA card, and um, you have their number. So once they're in the system and you have their number, you would come to tournaments, register for a tournament. It's going to take you back to this page here, and you're going to log in. It may look like this, and you're going to log in. Uh, you can't really do anything on this page anyway, so go ahead and log in. Um, what you're going to do once you log in, let me find the right page. Okay, so I've logged in. And you should be at the home screen here at the top tab, and it's going to list out the tournaments that are available to you. So you can click on one of the tournaments. I think I picked Team Georgia Girls Wrestling. I don't know why. I just clicked that one. So if you click here, so you see how it, um, the hand goes from just a uh, click to a hand, so you can actually register for it. And it's going to take you to their page. So you can add another wrestler, change a current wrestler, print an e-ticket, or start a new registration. Of course, that's what you want. You're going to click Start a New Registration. And if you haven't purchased a card, go do so. If you already have, you click this green link here. And you can add in their information. So you've got the tournament up here. You click the student or wrestler, uh, the style, their um, class, in this case elementary school, and their weight. So here's one tricky bit. They don't actually have to weigh whatever they started at. These kids are young, they're growing. So let's say um, my kid now weighs, I don't know, 95 pounds. Actually, I was already on that. Let's say 80. They're going to tell you that your student has to weigh less than 80 pounds. So if your kid is on the cusp and you're never really sure if they're 70 pounds or 69 pounds or whatever, you might want to just go ahead and go to 80. No reason to make the kids cut or worry about it. So pick a weight class that you know they can make. Otherwise, you won't be able to wrestle. So you're going to click. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do this. He's 70. Add wrestler. Let's see what happens here. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and actually add a second wrestler just to show you that you can. So I have both of my sons, Evan and Levi, registered for <laughs> the girls' um, uh, mat or uh, meet. So don't show them this video; they will probably hate me. And then you can click to pay now. So then you'll just run through all your information and pay for the 